and hopefully he does get to Paris. Aha, let's just see. Thank you. All right, thank <laughs> you so much. Stay with us, though. That long weekend is closing in fast. How is it all shaping up? Well, you'll find out in just a moment. He's back. Disgraced property spruker Dominic Grabisha. So <laughs> Well, can you believe your ears, what they Transform your home into a haven with cool, pure, clean air, creating a world of perfect comfort. Take your home to the next level with the Air Specialists. About to hear, looks like it's going to be a fine Easter. Locally, looking pretty good, in fact. This evening's weather photo. Wallace Lake, beautiful shot, fabulous across the water, calls for it to be dredged. There's a big build up at the moment. It's going to be very busy, I'd say, over Easter, either on the mountainside or the beachside. Past 24 hours, very wet right throughout southeast Queensland, absolutely saturated, in fact. Uh, the Northern River's picking up some of that much of eastern Queensland is looking pretty ordinary this Easter with more cloud and wet weather to come. The Territory also has been enduring flooding rain and it's still coming down. Uh, quite cloudy along the coast and we saw some of that cloud cover roll in locally for us, but uh, they've had two streams, showers coming in from the east underneath that uh, rain cloud that has been moving in from the west throughout northern New South Wales and Queensland. For us, we've got this big high that's making its way across the bite, so overall it's going to maintain that onshore influence. So again, that air mass moving over that very warm uh, East Australian current makes for cloudy skies and the occasional shower. So that moisture-laden air mass is trying to feed that inland off line and overall it looks like it's going to hold right across Easter but the risk or chances of showers are going to become even less so generally fine. Sydney's got the risk of a shower tomorrow, mid-20s on the way. The weather finally backing off for Brisbane if you're heading to Queensland. It is going to improve there. Lovely for the Alice, Adelaide and Perth and just a little bit cool right throughout the southeast. A little bit cooler along the coastal fringe throughout uh, today but once you hit the suburban areas it was still into the mid to high 20s, pretty warm and still very, very humid right from the coast across the valley floor. Thanks to this onshore influence, southeasterly is again driving right across the Greater Hunter, Central Coast Port Stephens region again, helping to produce a little bit of cloud and the occasional little shower potential of. We haven't had much of it and overall should remain that way throughout tomorrow. So again, we're going to see a shower icon or two, mid-20s for the Central Coast, 25s, 26s right throughout Port Stephens, Lake Macquarie and right throughout areas in between across Newcastle, all of the suburban areas from Mayfield to Sandgate, Maitland, uh, Cessnock, Curry Curry. We're looking at 26s, 27s, 28s once you go beyond Lock and Var, Singleton, Musselbrook, same high 20s on the way. Generally, it is going to be fine and overall remaining that way right across Easter. Two metres of swell offshore at the moment, a little bit calmer in the mornings, onshore's drawing in, sun's rising after 7am, down before 7pm, it's an early morning low, so we're hitting the high tomorrow morning just after 11am, still over a metre of southerly swell, wave period over 8 seconds. As we look ahead, how's that? Not bad, we'll take it, good Friday through to Easter Monday, 26ers, warming a little bit, partly cloudy skies, lovely cool nights, great for a campfire, you can't do any better. Shaping up fantastically right throughout the valley and all of the locations, all of those beautiful camp spots on the rivers and the lakes as well. Central Coast, you're not missing out either. Mid-20s, a very comfortable Goldilocks Easter weekend indeed. Uh, the carry hole looking, uh, well, beautiful, sparkling, a little bit of swell. Onshore is affecting it and overall similar conditions in the coming days. It's not too early to start Easter yet, is it? No, uh, we already did with those eggs today. Absolutely. <laughs> Thank you, Gav. That's NBN News for this Wednesday. A current affair is coming up next and we'll have updates throughout the evening. So thanks for your company from all of the team. Have a great night. Good night.